we're really delighted to, to be welcoming six new scholars into the, the academy setup. Um, they come from a range of backgrounds, but all relatively um, local lads. And that's what we want to see, really. Lads coming from the local area, around Gwent and from within Gwent, and, and playing for their hometown club in Newport County. And, and hopefully one day they'll, they'll uh, you know, be our next first team uh, talent and following the footsteps of the likes of Lewis Collins in recent years and, and, and more recently, you know, and, and very recently, uh, Harrison Bright. The six players um, who are coming in are Harrison Page, uh, who is a centre midfielder um, or centre back at times, who you know has, has shown great ability since he's been in the academy. We also have um, Finley Coleman. Uh, Finley Coleman uh, joined us more recently uh, at the end of his under fifteen year, um, but uh, again is another centre back, and um, you know hopefully over the next few years continues to develop. Noah Watkins, who's recently joined us after a very successful season um, in the, the Welsh Pyramid uh, at a local league side. Um, he's really done well throughout his trial period uh, and shown great attrib attributes and, and someone that can really add to the, to the group. We've had Alfie Young, who has also uh, joined us from, from local football. Um, a bit of a uh, wild card Alfie when he when he came in initially uh, he came from uh, literally nowhere he he wasn't on the radar he came in to a trial and has, has excelled since uh, Bradley Br Birchall who was pre scholared over a year ago has been in the academy environment for a number of years playing a host of positions up front behind the strikers and and, and shows real qualities again on and off the pitch. Um, we also have Tom McCallum joining joining the uh, academy setup. And he'll be, um, you know, a great inclusion in, in central midfield. Um, he can probably play other positions as well. Uh, we also have Ryan Chalice, and, and Ryan again has been with the academy a number of years. is a is a great uh, lad. Um, is a is a great young boy um, who who's done really good things on the pitch for us this season. Um, and we're looking forward to to all of them really joining the the academy watching them continue to grow and develop and, and hopefully, you know, in two years time, be, uh, be a, a professional footballer. On top of our uh, scholars coming in, we've also uh, been able to retain uh, a number of, of uh, second year scholars who are now going to uh, move on to their first professional contracts and, and we are absolutely over the moon and delighted for them. They've worked so hard over their time as a scholar with the club and this is the great thing and, and the great position we're in now as a club and uh, the backing of the board. Uh, and chairman to continue to look at, at how to grow the club, how to keep a hold of our best young players um, in the inclusion of uh, what is now our development squad and development team. Um, you know, last year uh, was the first year we trialled that with, with uh, Ryan Hillier, Joe Woodyworth and Lewis Twamley uh, graduating from the academy and going into that first team development squad. And now this year um, we have joining that uh, Harrison Bright, Evan Ovendale and Jack Caradogan. We're delighted as an academy to see, you know, that progression for them and potentially where they could go and, and hopefully add to their, uh, you know, appearance tally in the first team next season. On the flip side of that, obviously we have uh, a number of players departing, uh, second years, third years, and, uh, you know, first year pros who, who will be leaving the club this summer. However, what we look to do at the academy is prepare them from, for every eventuality and uh, effectively what we want to do is give them as many options so when it comes to May every, every year they have options on the table and it's not a case of I don't have a pro deal or I don't have a professional contract, it's a case of what can I pick next. So if that option isn't on the cards from us as a club it's a case of can they do it elsewhere? And part of our exit strategy is, is six options effectively. So it's professional contract, uh, semi-professional contract, uh, you know, at local clubs, non-league clubs. The other options then are university options, which we work with a number of different universities and given the, the boys the opportunities to, to go and experience, see the universities firsthand, um, 
take in a, a talk, a tour of the facilities and see what university life is about. There's then college options and college options to, to play and, and train abroad as well. And we work with a number of different partners to look at uh, further options opportunities and, and options. We also then look at uh, further apprenticeships. So some of the lads previously have, have wanted to go into different fields, uh, electricians, plumbers, uh, things along those lines. And then uh, finally, what full-time options that uh, you know the players can potentially focus on. And, and throughout the year, we've focused on a number. We have lads now who are leaving, looking at potentially setting up their own businesses or going into to completely different fields. And that's what it's about in the academy, although we are inevitably trying to create the next young footballer for, for Newport County. Um, effectively, what we want to try and do is just make sure those boys are set up for the rest of their life. And whether that is inside football or outside of football, we try to ensure throughout their scholarship that they've got a number of different opportunities that they can then effectively sit down and choose at the end of the year and if option one isn't on the table from either us as a club or you know another club if that opportunity isn't there right now to become a professional then what else can we do to help us uh, along our pathway and again some of the lads you know may not go into football full-time uh, but you know there are a number of different options and that's what we want to look look at as an academy and effectively uh, you know keep on to them about because we all know as as young men as as young potential footballers sometimes people can get focused on you know just the one thing and what we try and do is is educate them so they've got a, an array of options for when they leave us as an academy We've also had a number of players going into the development team over the past few years who've also made their, their first team debuts throughout different cup competitions and that's really what we want to see from the academy. Um, and we're delighted really for, for the, the young lads. They've, they've worked really hard and shown not only uh, good attributes on the pitch but also off the pitch. It's really important that we get the, the right blend and um, we look to profile not only great players, but great human beings as well. People who are going to take education seriously, um, you know, their their development, um, looking into their their future career, you know, not only in football, be, but beyond that. Um, and we feel we've got a, a great blend with, with the young boys who are, who are coming in into the academy next year. And, and they add to the, the already great cohort, which will be moving into their second year for us. Effectively for us now, we've got a, a really young, enthusiastic manager who has an academy background uh, behind him, really understands, you know, what those boys are going through and, and what they've, you know, the, the journey ahead of them in terms of that transition from academy to first team. The gaffer has been great since he's come in he's come down to talk to uh you know support the lads educate the lads and, and and kind of bridge that gap between academy and first team and and no doubt the boys going into that environment now are going to have a lot of support um from the the uh, not only the manager but the team around him uh, a number of a number of the staff have again come through a, an academy background so know exactly what player development looks like how to get players from uh, you know, an academy to the next level and, and, and be ready for first team football. And we've all seen the successes they've had over, over the years at previous clubs. And hopefully our, our young pros now can, can benefit from that approach as well. If they uh, apply themselves, if they embrace the opportunity and if they work hard, there's no reason why they can't because they've got everything around them and every opportunity around them to get them where they need to go. Results aren't important for us here at the academy, although you know they're a good indication at times of, of things going well on, on the pitch and, and players clicking and, and gelling. It's really about the individual development and ensuring that players are not only developing on the pitch but off the pitch as well through a range of different experiences and opportunities. The academy is a, is a safe environment for the boys to learn. However, there has to come a time where that winning mentality really has to set in because over in the first team, Going into that environment, you know, it's so important that Saturday afternoon, the three points are on the line, opportunities are on the line and, and places in the squad are on the line. So it's really important that there's a balance in academy football. You know, the Saturday league games uh, are there and they are very competitive at times, but it's not all about the result. 
we will challenge the boys in different ways. We will go and play Premier League opposition in, in friendlies and say, how do we cope and adapt to that situation and treat it as a bit of a, a cup competition? Uh, we'll then go and play local colleges or, or Welsh League sides where maybe there is pressure on the boys to win that game due to the fact that they train professionally and they're in a pro professional environment against a, a semi-professional or amateur league club. So what we try and do is give different experiences and different opportunities to the boys to, to experience different pressures. Um, and therefore, at the end of that two years, then hopefully they're in a good place where they've experienced uh, a bit of pressure to win a game. They've also experienced a cup competition and also experienced, you know, the day-to-day -day goings on of, of de development league fixtures. You know, that's what academies should should be about. Um, uh, inevitably, that winning mentality also has to be there, and there has to be a focus on how we can get that into the into the boys by by being creative at times, and and that's something we'll continue to do.